We're going to take a look at my digital asset management program, which is ACDC Ultimate 2020. I have been using ACDC since the early days of my digital photography. I knew I needed a means of keeping a track of where all my pictures were, a database. And there was a couple of very serious database programs available at the time, I forget the names of them, but I looked into them, they would do the job I wanted, but they were complex, and it was going to take me a while to, to set them all up and understand them. And then I happened to read a very short review in a computer magazine that said the latest version of ACDC is much improved on earlier versions. Well, I'd never heard of ACDC, but I downloaded and installed the software, played around with it for about 30 minutes, by which time I felt I was an expert on it. And this is very important to me, I like software that is easy and intuitive to use. I don't want a big learning curve. And after 30 minutes, that was it. It was doing everything I wanted to do, and I've used it ever since. Now I'm only going to show you a very limited part of it, I'm only interested in the database side of it, but you can process pictures in here, do everything that Photoshop does, but I don't do that, I just use the photo management side. So here we are, we're looking at my file structure on the left hand side, I keep all of my pictures on one master picture disk. So then we have lots of different folders, all the birds, all in alphabetical order, and I always have the birds' names in the singular form, so it's always uh, Canada Goose rather than Canada Geese. Always have it singular. But you've got the thumbnails of all my African Jacanas, and I can scroll down. You can change the size as you would expect to do with, with any viewing software. I tend to keep the size large so I can make a judgment as to which picture is which. And again, just like any other viewing software, you can sort things. You can put them in file name order type order, although they should all be JPEGs, um, modified date, taken date, any order you want to put them in, you can. So we can look at African Snipe. I've no idea what the difference is between an African Snipe and a Common Snipe, but there they are. Now one of the other things you can do is you can select pictures you want to send somewhere. So let's say I got a picture request for an African Snipe. I grab that picture, I drag it down here to my image basket. And then I go and pick on an African pied wagtail. And I say, OK, I want that one. And I can drag it down here, and this one, and drag it down here. When I've collected all the pictures I want, I'm, bearing in mind I'm not duplicating the pictures. I'm not creating copies of them. I'm just marking them. So now I can select all those pictures. I can right click and copy. And I do this frequently. I now copy those pictures off to my work area away from the master picture disk and then I can do whatever I want to do with those pictures and send them off to wherever I want to send them. So that's the way that I gather pictures and when I finished I can delete or remove all the pictures from the image basket but it's only from the basket not from your, your main files. Another way of viewing your pictures is by calendar order so up here we have folders, catalog, calendar. Click on calendar. I can now look at all of the pictures in November 2019 just by clicking on the top there so all the pictures I took that month have come up or I can just pick on one day each one of those highlighted days means I took photographs on that day that's not going to be very interesting pick on something else here are some stone chats I took on the 29th of November or I could highlight several months I can highlight November to January, three to three months and all the pictures I took. You're not restricted to months, you can change that to a year view, so I could look at all the pictures I took in one year. I tend to keep it on month view, it's the most convenient. So I can see in the month of March 2020 I took 658 pictures. And because you can look at pictures by date, what we could do, if I click on the 13th of January, I can see that those pictures were taken in Spain. And, and it's obvious from the dates there, I spent the week in Spain photographing. So if I highlight from the 13th to the 18th, I'm going to get all of the pictures I took in Spain during that week. We'll just scroll down.
that means I can now go to catalogue and if we scroll down I have a category called trips here it is and every trip I go on I create a category so there's one here for Spain 2020 and if I highlight all these pictures I can now drag them across and put them into Spain 2020 now I'm not going to do that because I've already done it so if I click on Spain 2016 for instance I'm getting all the pictures I took on that trip and it's just very easy to catalogue your pictures so go back to 2020 Spain so you can see I've got lots of trips there all catalogued and it's just so easy to put them in to those categories simply by using the calendar so that gives me three ways of looking at my pictures the other thing you can do with categories is let's say you're a club photographer you like to enter the exhibition world well here's the Bristol Salon and I can keep a record of which four pictures I put into the Bristol Salon in 2018 and 2019 very easy way of keeping a track and in the days when I was able to make a living from it these are the picture library submissions I used to make so to the front lane picture library here there's 92 pictures that I sent to them in 2006 June 19 and I've got a record of all the pictures I sent to that agency and all the other picture libraries that I was uh, contributing to you can look at the pictures full size just by double clicking on it I don't tend to do this very often and then you've got your usual thing your next button to, to go through them back to the manage over here we can look at the IPTC data and the EXIF data which is under this heading and because I do fill in the IPTC data with all these keywords um, it is possible up here I could just type in vulture the top few are cutouts I've been doing a lot of cutout work but then lots of different species of, of vultures we go back to the folders click on this roller and one of the feature which I don't use but I'm sure it will be popular with a lot of people if I highlight a picture right click on it I can set a rating I can rate it from 1 to 5 so it just puts a little number up here or this picture right click and I can set a label and color it red just a way of indicating certain pictures perhaps your, your better pictures it's not a feature that I use but it is there and available but it is really just this digital asset management side of it that I use just the keeping a track of where my pictures are and I find it say very very quick very simple to use and uh, I, I do like ACDC a lot